Hi, my name is Audrey Thomas, founder of Organized Audrey and LeanOffices.com, and today's productivity pointer has to do with how you currently use your email inbox. For many of you, you're using your email inbox as a virtual to-do list, meaning you get an email from somebody, it requires a future task or something you want to follow up on or something that you know you're going to want to read later, so you leave it in your inbox thinking, I won't forget it here and I'll be sure to get it done then. But unfortunately what happens is other emails come in that are also important, that need follow-up, and so they end up burying the other emails that you saved in your inbox. So I'd like to show you a method that I use in Microsoft Outlook, and it's also adaptable in Lotus Notes, of what I do with emails that represent a future task or something on my calendar. So watch this video clip on how I do that in Outlook. Okay, here is an email file folder that I'm going to use for today's filming, and I'm going to show you how to move emails to where you will need to use them later. The first email that I'm going to use as an example is this email that I received from Chris Johnson. And he said, call me Friday the 26th. Well, if I leave it in my inbox, chances are it's going to get buried. And on the 26th, I may not see it and I'll forget to give him a call. So instead, I'm going to move this email to where I will need it later, and that would be on my calendar. So I'm going to just simply highlight this email and drag it to April 26th. It takes his email and populates it as a new appointment. As you can see, it also takes the subject line of Chris's email and puts it as the new subject line of the appointment. So I'm simply going to highlight that now and change it to read call Chris Johnson. And I'm going to leave it at 8 o'clock. I'm going to press save and close. And now on the 26th, when I come into my office, I'm going to see that I need to call Chris Johnson. I can open that up and there is his cell number and the fact that he's driving that day between 8 and 3 and that's when I should try to give him a call. Another example that I'd like to show you is an email that represents a future task. Here's an email that came in through our website, and it was a speaking lead for me from somebody from Kraft Foods. And I called him, and I got his voicemail. As you can see, I put right here, left voicemail on May 13th, 2013. Well, we're playing so much phone tag, I've decided to take it out of the inbox so I don't overlook it, and put it on my task list over here so that on the day that I want to follow up and call him, it will be showing over here when I come into my office. So I'm going to highlight it here. I'm going to drag it down here to the word task until that highlights somewhat. I'm going to let go. And a new task is actually, mine shows up down here. For some of you, it actually will show up here on your screen. But I'm just going to click on this. And here's my new task. And again, it takes the subject line from the email. So I'm just going to change that a little bit and it's just simply going to say speaking lead, Kraft Foods, and I'm going to want to follow up on May 21st. And I press save and close. Now, on May 21st, when I come into my office, it's going to be listed over here as an item that I need to do. And when I open that task, I will have the history in there of who it is that's trying to contact me. Now, after I move an email, to the calendar or to my tasks, I go back into my inbox and I delete it. This is really important. It does no good to move these emails if you're not willing to, to get them out of your inbox. One last thing that I want to draw your attention to is when you highlight an email and left click and move it, it will not take any attachments with it. In order to move an, an email with an attachment, you want to right click. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here. Here's an email from Al Zavala, who I have an upcoming meeting with him on May 8th. And he has included the agenda as an attachment on this email. So I'm going to right click this email and I'm going to drag it to May 8th. And when I drag it to my calendar and let go of the mouse, I will get these options. And I'm going to click copy here as appointment with the attachment. And when I do that, you can see that here's the new calendar appointment. It copies the subject line of his email into the subject as the new subject for the appointment. And I'm really okay with that. This meeting happens to start at 10 o'clock. 
and I'm going to press save and close. And I want to show you what that looks like when we go over to May 8th on the day of this meeting. Here I have my appointment, meeting at Regina Medical, and right over here I have agenda for Regina Medical. So before I go to this meeting, I can click onto this. Now I can click onto this, and there's the agenda that I can print out. So I have moved the email to where I need to use it later. Then I would go back to my email inbox and delete Al's email. So the next time you're tempted to leave an email in your inbox, don't. Instead, drag it to where you're going to need it later, especially if it has something to do with your calendar or your to-do list. I hope you've enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey and LeanOffices.com, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.